Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 541, where we have 35 moves to remove all the jelly and reach 200,000 points. The jelly is down here and trapped under frosting that's one, two layers thick. We can always count the layers. And the jelly itself is two layers thick. So we have a lot of work to do down here, but we're going to use these conveyor belts to help us. Now the conveyor belts are simple. The portal system shows that the blues correspond to each other. So this just keeps cycling through over and over. We've got some ticking time bombs here. And even though we don't have gumball machines to show it, we'll get more ticking time bombs on this board. Uh, normally I would say work on one conveyor belt and then switch to the other. Like work on this and really try to clear this area out so you can make some specials that range ranged attacks that come over here. We can't do that with ticking time bombs. We have to be cognizant of the fact that we've got to get rid of these on both sides of the board. So making specials is of course extremely helpful. Oh look at that. Combining them to cut out a swath of three. Now I'm going to be patient and hope that this doesn't explode without me wanting it to. I'm going to be patient and wait till it's down here. So let's do something on this side. I like the fact that the uh, conveyor belts are separate from each other, that what I do here doesn't affect this one. All right, so we've got these two, and in case you don't know how these work when you combine, this column will be removed, and the columns on either side will be removed because the candies are both in the same column. It, since, though, they're in different rows, we can determine to a degree which rows are taken out. If we pull the green into the blue, the blue becomes the pivotal candy. This row, the row below, and the row above is taken out, but there's not much in the row above. I want to pull the blue into the green, making green the pivotal candy. It'll remove this row, row above, and row below. Very important, even when you're using uh, two striped candies combined, but especially when you're using something like a striped and wrapped. All right, so now that we've made inroads here, you can see we've got new ticking time bombs coming in, but they're not fast and furious. But now that we have inroads here, and because we've got a little time here, we're going to focus on clearing out as much of this space as possible. I'm going to wait till this ticks down one, I think. Let's see what else I can do. Let's get rid of the lowest ticking time bomb. So now I'm going to open this area, and as it is in most cases, these um, higher corner areas are probably going to be the most difficult to get to, so I'm going to concentrate on them first to try to remove them without incident. I uh, wish there were a red around here. Not quite what I needed. See if I can take out all of these ticking time bombs at once. Reset the clocks for me. So now that I have this area opened, it's going to be my preference to work almost exclusively down here, unless I can see a really good opportunity for a special that will communicate down here. Like this special, I could take it out because it would eradicate that six ticking time bomb. I just don't see it being as helpful as making moves down here. If I knew that I could match it up with a uh, striped candy, I would do it, but I'd rather take this move right now. Okay, now I need to concentrate on getting rid of some of these things that are threatening me. See another opportunity for a special, but again, I don't see it as being that special. So let's do this. The closer we get to the end, the less I have to concern myself with the ticking time bombs pretty soon. Um, well, right now, if any new bombs come out, you can see I've only got 15 moves, so they, those don't concern me at all. Let's see. I like that this middle section is the one that is going to need the most work because it's the easiest to reach. It means I've done my job on the rest of the board here pretty well. I love that. Okay, let's get rid of that seven.
Oh, I should have taken that one. I'm not in a very <laughs> intelligent mood. <laughs> I don't feel like concentrating much right now. This this level is so much easier if you can exercise your powers of concentration and really make the best moves because there are a lot of moves and you have to contemplate what's going to give you the most success. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, dumb luck will kick in for me. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Okay, so I've only got one more to take out and I've got four moves and I can set it up, hopefully. All right, so that's how I beat level 541. I bet you can do it in fewer moves than I if you employ these strategies and think about your moves. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And my kitty appreciates it too.